let us continue with our lesson and today we need to do the player scoreboard so whenever we generate some number over here or whenever we get some point over here depending on the player whether it's a player a or player b we need to increase their scoreboard so whenever i get some value over here let's say two i need to add it to over current scoreboard so how we can do that is let's go to our code over here first of all we need to create uh, some variable so let's go and create a variable of a score let's say s-c-o-r is score of uh, a, a score player underscore a and this way we will take a variable of integer and we'll just say the initial value as a zero and also we need to create a scoreboard so s-c-o-r is score underscore p-l-a-y-e-r player for a b and we need to take an integer and that's equals to zero so the initial value we are taking for the player a and the player b is a zero and whenever we generate uh, some we get a random number over here which is one to six we need to add that value to a or b depending on which player turn so next we will create also our two variable let's say our variable uh, p l a y e r player underscore active uh, let's say player active okay uh, why not we create a s e t i p e active p l a y e r player underscore a and we take a boolean variable which is true or false and i will say as a player a is equals to true by default so t r u e so which means that by default initial value for the player active player a is true and we also need to create the same for just copy this one and just paste it below and i will say that is for player b so initial value i will say it to false which means that player b is false for initial value so when we get the number the next thing is that we need to add it to player A or B. So first we need to check whether player A is active or player B is active. So for that what we will do is, okay let's after we put some expression over here, I think let me uh, minimize, let me minimize everything. Just click on the minimize over here and I will do next step over here is that uh, we need to add check first if the active player is a so if and i will say that active player a which is true then i will add a score for a score player a each uh, equals to uh, which is equals to the random number and this way we are adding a random number to our score player a and if i will say else if else if and this is a active player b or else we can just directly say if active player is a false then we can just say that is active active player is b so active player b is equals to random number so we add the value to a active eh, sorry not the not to the active player b but it should be score so we need to add it to the score so score is equals to random number score player b then we set the value of random number and here what we need to do is after the active player b then the next step is that we need to make a active player is equals to false because we need to disable it then it will be the turn of a active player b so here we said the active player a is false and the active player b is equals to true 
So which means after we disable the active player A, then we enable the active player B. So next step is that whenever we generate the next number, when the when we click on this button next time, it will come and check that active player is false here and this is active player is b so it will go to the active here else part and add the value and here we will again say that the active player b is equals to false we need to make it false inactive which is and then we need to activate the player a again and we will say that is true so this way we will again activate the player A. So the next step is that we need to show the scoreboard on this well, this text field and this text field. So what I will do is I will just get the ID from here which is uh, TV game point A. Just copy this one and go over here and if this is the active player A then I will set the value just place it over here dot and I will say is text is equals to of the score a and dot to string we need to set it because this is an integer value and we need to convert it to the string because this is a text view so in the text view we need to add a text not an integer so that's why we need to convert it to the string using a to string method and that text we set over here and the next step is over here we also need to set the score for our player b for that i will just copy this uh, id over here and we'll go over here and i'll just say text is equals to score player b dot to string so we set the to string value then after that we get the point and add it to over here and set it to the text string so first of all here we we'll get we will say that add the scor score to player a and similarly here we will just copy and paste it and say it's add the score to the player b and the next is that what we are doing here is set the text of the text view so we are setting the set the text of the text view which are we are putting the text inside this uh, text view and we also need cost copy this one and just paste it over here and finally over here what we are doing is enable uh, enable enable playa player b and disable disable player a so here we are enabling a uh, player b and disabling a uh, player a so we are doing the same thing and it's just the reverse here we are enabling a player a and we are and disabling a player b so let's go and run our app and let's test it again so let me run the application and let's go to our illuminator over here and let's wait for the gradle build okay so let's uh, test it so whenever i click over here you see the three is added to a player a and next i click i get two is a player two so it is added to a player two the scoreboard of player two is two and next is the front of player a and we get a four and we add that value to a player a and next is a player b next is player a next is player b next is player a next is player b so but the value is every time changing so what we need to do is we need to add to the current value is 2 and the next value when whatever we get let's say 2 plus 3 is 5 
and the next time again we get some value then f4 plus 4 is 8 so we need to change that value so not that every time we get a number over here and we just change it so we need to add the value to the current value so to how to do that it's uh, let's go back over here and we need to change something over here First, we are getting the over here. We are placing the value over here. And what we need to do is we just need to add plus sign over here. And we just need to add a plus sign. So what we are doing with the plus equals to is that the current value of, uh, we, what we are saying is that it is saying that player score, uh, score player A plus the random number so whatever the score value of player a plus the random number so the initial value is zero zero plus let's say the random number is five then the five is the uh, player a score and next time whenever we act, do the calculation again what are we doing is the initial value is five again we are adding the another random number which let's say four back to the player score player a then that will become a nine so let's run it this one just go and run this one and let's check the illuminator and let's play again okay 5 and 2 and we get a 4 that is 9 and we get a 4 that is 6 and we get a 2 again 11 and we get 2 that is 8 okay it's working fine so we are 15 13 yeah we get 3 18 yeah 19 yeah 19 yeah 20 yeah it's working fine and we are all up to done and what we did is we just added a plus sign so basically if you remove this one the another way of doing the same thing over here is that we just copy over here and paste that we just copy this which is a score player a and just place and we just add the value so which is just like a score player a plus random number is equals to score player a so basically if we can we can also do the same thing by doing this way and or else we can just remove this one and just add a plus sign over here if we uh, we can test it if you are not comfortable just run this application again and this code and uh, this code will give us the same result so let's go back over here and just press two three yeah it's getting the same so you can see that we are also adding the same value and we are getting also the same over here yeah that's working fine so that's much for this lesson and we'll continue with our lesson on a next video